Welcome to Zero to Pro Training.com. What are databases and why do we need them? If you want to understand databases, then, don't start with, the features of database software. You need to go the other way. Databases are designed, to solve a problem. Try to understand, what problems, the database is solving. You have some data, and therefore, you need a database. Is that true? Let's look at this closely, and see, if that statement is, really true. Let's say, there is some data, you need to store. It could be information about, customers, suppliers, or, employees, etc. This data, could be in any format. Text, numbers, amounts, dates, documents, images, audio or video etc. You can store this data, in text files, or spreadsheets. You can use folders, to organize your files. Then, why do you need, databases? Many small businesses, start with this setup. They use, spreadsheets and files, and continue to use them, for years. The setup, might work, just fine. Because, just having data, is not a good reason, to have a database. Having data, is not, the main problem. What comes next, is the problem. Here are few issues that will come along the way, size of data, ease of updating data, accuracy, security, redundancy, and integrity of data. Small amount of data, has a tendency, to turn into, a large amount of data. A spreadsheet solution is fine, when you have 100 records. It may not work, if you have 2 million records. You have to split up the file, into, multiple sub-files. This will create a problem of speed. It will take you long time to find a record. Also, ease of updating becomes an issue, when using spreadsheet, or text files. Multiple people cannot edit the file, at the same time. They will be overwriting, everyone else's changes, all the time. Data accuracy is hard to maintain. The no validation of data entry, and hence, accuracy is in question. Anyone can type anything. You can enter, wrong spelling, and wrong dates, for example. You cannot secure data, in spreadsheets, and text files. Anyone can access the files, and can see any data, within the files. This solution will not work, for payroll, and healthcare departments, where privacy is pivotal. Then, there will be problems of, redundancy, or duplication of data. Multiple copies of the same data, would eventually found its way, into spreadsheets and documents. This further leads to, issues of accuracy. One file will say, the price is $10, and the other one will say, it is $15. It is not easy to update, multiple copies of the same data, at once. Some of the data, that is not considered important, is not entered into the files, as there is no validation. This bring, the data integrity into question. It is because of these problems, a database is required. A database prevents these issues. It is not that, database is required, because you have data. Database, lets you store data, and let it grow. You can modify the data. Multiple people can do the modification, at the same time. The data is validated, based on business rules. You can control the security, for example, who can view, and who can modify the data. You can track, who did, what. All the essential data is captured, databases could survive crashes, and hardware issues, without corrupting the data. Databases lets you take backups, easily, and perform recoveries, thank you for watching.